Welcome to Point Blank, brought to you by Fitz Roofing. I'm Brandon Strange, joined by ESPN Houston's Joel Blank of the Press Box. Joel, welcome in. A couple weeks ago, both Pro Football Talk and John McClain openly questioned on social media whether DeAndre Hopkins was holding out in order to get his deal reworked. Hopkins did eventually participate at camp, but coincidentally, he got a new deal from the cards not long after. So Joel, if, and I stress if, because we have nothing but conjecture to support it, but if Diop really was holding out, this would support the Texans' narrative about contract concerns being a reason they moved Hopkins. And I don't think I'm breaking any news to say that O'Brien's stock with fans isn't high, but Outside of getting disproportionate value in the trade, if DeHop really did use an injury claim or some other method to put pressure on Arizona to give him a new deal, does that in any way give O'Brien more credibility in the same way that he was slightly vindicated on not giving Clowney a new giant deal? I said as much, Brandon, on my show when the news broke of the extension for for Hopkins. The fact that you want to be critical of Bill O'Brien, but you have to also be honest. And if honesty is the best policy, and that is what we are being told news-wise, that he got the extension that he wanted, well, that's what Bill O'Brien said all along was the main reason why he had to go. Now, the flip side of that is you still have to get equal value or at least some good value in return. And I think that's still always going to be questioned, especially when another receiver, not nearly what DeAndre Hopkins is and Stefan Diggs brought back a first round pick, not David Johnson and his contract. I think that that is still going to be something that's going to sit on Bill O'Brien's shoulders. But overall, you have to give Bill O'Brien at least benefit of the doubt until we find out even more details, because if that's what he's been saying all along and that's what happened in Arizona, then that gives you the indication that because of all the massive deals they've already given and overpaid to players, they would have been in a quite a big predicament for their future, and therefore it it kind of justifies why at least you had to explore trade possibilities. You brought up the Stefan Diggs trade, which has been mentioned countless times in comparison with the DeAndre Hopkins deal. I want to dig into that a little bit more, no pun intended. Uh, but before we do that, I want to give us a word from our video sponsors at Fitz Roofing. Fitz Roofing's been great. They'll be great for you as well because dedicated to Houston, they can get it, give you a free no obligation inspection today on your roof and tell you what they can do, whether it's a new roof or repairs. All you got to do is call them 832-521-3001. They're going to take care of you every step of the way with the best product and the best ratings in the business. It's Fitz Roofing making a difference one home at a time. Joel, when the Stefan Diggs trade went down, fans and pundits immediately pointed to that trade as the litmus that the Texans did not get proper value for D-Hop. The Texans disputed that by uh, saying that the Hopkins value was skewed because he wanted to be paid as a top wide receiver. And by comparison, Hopkins is getting more in guaranteed money now over his first two years than Diggs' entire deal is worth. So is that a fair point in judging that trade? And how much of the assessment of that trade is skewed by public opinion of O'Brien? I think that there's gonna there's a lot of factors that weigh into it, Brandon, but I think the biggest thing is what they did get in return, which wasn't a first round pick, was David Johnson and a massive contract. And for a franchise that has been cap strapped because of the deals they gave to Laramie Tunsil and Kaimi Fairbairn and so many guys in between where they overpaid, money is a huge issue. So even if you don't get the draft pick you wanted, you want to clear cap space. You don't want to take on more cap hit. And that, at least in the short term, is what they did with an unproven now David Johnson coming off two injuries. So I think for a lot of reasons, that's why it's so critical that Bill O'Brien be in the crosshairs over this very trade and this move. Because there has to be a team out there that can see the value in DeAndre Hopkins and even unlike the Cardinals there are teams that have all the cap money in the world that are just dying for a signature type player to put at the forefront of everything they do from marketing to game planning to everything in between that would love to have a DeAndre Hopkins and regardless of whether that pick was a high first or a low first it was still a first round pick and it was clearing cap space not taking on a cap hit like you got with Johnson. In your opinion, will the DeAndre Hopkins trade ever be remembered fairly or, or favorably by the fans and the media? I don't think so, and I think it starts with the fact that the fans, as you mentioned, already have quite the negative connotations when it comes to the name Bill O'Brien, and that whether you look at it from a coaching perspective or a general manager perspective, that's something that only a winning a Super Bowl or maybe a conference championship is going to at least start to get people to forgive him for. So I think that in itself sets it up as a true negative, and because D-Hop was such a fan favorite, because 
because he was so dedicated to Houston and said he loved being here. That's always the thing that makes it even more difficult from a fan's perspective to have you part ways with him and, and know that it wasn't completely all in his doing. I think because of those factors, the fans are never going to forget. From a football perspective, if Johnson somehow has an all-pro caliber year, and if you somehow can make this team go deeper into the playoffs than you did a year ago and not have the collapse you had against Kansas City, then maybe there's a chance. But you always say, well, you say there's a chance. There's a chance, but there's also a pretty firm chance people are never going to forget the fact that Bill O'Brien was the guy that showed DeAndre Hopkins the door to get out of town. <laughs>